Alright everybody, welcome back to Cat Quest. I uh, counted the days left till uh, Count Quest 3's release, and we honestly don't have much time. So I gotta hurry this up. Actually, when I'm being chased, I cannot fly to just get out of here, can I? No. Yeah, I can't. I have to be like far enough away, okay. We just gotta do more quests to get more level ups. Gotta go fast. The missing soldiers. Soldiers have gone missing. Help me find my soldiers. We can't let the king go short, Paul. Your furriness, what happened? What's up, young dragon blood? My soldiers are missing. With your strength, I believe you can find them. Meow, we're happy to help. We're all some. I've marked out where they were last seen. Prick of Paul. I'll just say the cat puns are still funny. Alright, they're last seen over there. That's not too far away, I'll just fly. Hmm, nothing here. Nothing here either. How are we? Wait a minute. Over there, a piece of paper. A minute. That's hilarious. Report number one. Need to find my fellow soldiers. I found a suspicious town cat. I'm following a suspicious town cat. A clue. I see another one over there. Report number two. The town cat keeps looking around. Does he see me? I mean, probably. Report number three. He seems familiar. Maybe I've seen him around somewhere. Wait, we were supposed to go to a tank build. So, chainmail helmet. Yeah, that does the most. And then for armors, we need... I think right now the furry tank armor, yeah. And then we also have... Is it... Where is it? It's a chainmail blade. Here it is. 13 armor instead of 10. We now have 52 extra hit points. Kinda useless, because everything does more than like 52 damage at this point. Report number 4. He's joined up by another cat. They're heading off together. I mean, I can see them up there. They stopped. It looks like they met here a lot. They're saying something. I need to get closer there. They ended abruptly. Something must have happened. Wait a wait for a second. I hear something over there. Suspicious town cats and the soldiers. They're having another meeting here. I checked. There's no more of those pesky soldiers. Good, the herb bait's been set. Let's go before the monsters come. Hey, what bait? What does it mean by that? Ah, fuzzballs, monsters. Alright, I gotta do lightning strike here. Fire strike. That's right, this kid barely takes any damage from magic. Alright, get rid of those herbs first. Yeah, we should probably do that. Then we'll free the town cats. You pick up the Paul Thorn and Catnip. Eek, these herbs attract monsters. Toss them. Don't cats eat catnip, though? Must be a dangerous world. You untied the bound soldiers. Soldier kittens, what happened? Meow, those town cats knocked us out and left us for some monsters. Curse our crappy armor. Meow, you kittens need upgrades. Do you know who they were? No, but they mentioned soft points. Actually, yeah, they're wearing crappy helmets. And the swords they use are the crappy swords. They must also be wearing, like, a crappy suit of armor or something. Two of our soldiers are still missing. It could be out there, Mew. One firm is Furry Highness first. Please have this. Chainmail armor. They gave us this, but I think they need it way more than us. Yeah. I'm gonna have to agree. They're kind of worthless without it. Okay, I'll just buy a normal chest. See if we can get an upgrade on some piece of armor that we'll actually use more often than not. I mean, the square axe is upgraded, which is quite useful because it's both 16 damage and magic. Give me a bonus to both without uh, focusing on one or getting rid of the other. Honestly, whenever I play a video game, I prefer to go as a jack of all trades. Master of none. Or put everything into luck. Alright, number two, the rescue. We need planned rescue ASAP. But my cats aren't strong enough to reach softball. We need your help. SOS. 
Don't worry, your furriness. We'll help find your soldier case. Well, for some reason, I just can't speak. I had plenty to drink and everything, but now I just can't talk. For some reason, my brain just does not want to process anything that I'm reading. Flank's so useful. We go so much faster. Like, this would have taken years. But now it's super fast. Meows, you made it. Now, where are the soldiers? Oh, wait, over there. Jeez. You untie the soldiers. Thank you. They're all gathered at the edge of South Point. Let's see for yourself. We can sneak back on our own. I really doubt it. I really, really doubt it. Wait a minute. I hear mewing. King Lionel's reign's over. We'll take him down. We've suffered through our time in the soldier's guard. We'll wear this crappy armor as we strike them down to show our rebellion. Mew? Meow? These soldiers traitors? Who's there? Come out. No! Dragon Blood, wait, I've seen you before. You were in the soldier's guard before a few years ago back. You understand, right? Lousy armor, low pay, high risk. Soldiers are voluntary and should be loyal to the king. Prepare for a fight. Don't be afraid. Remember your training. Beat him down. Oh, wow. These guys are... Pathetic. Holy fuzzballs. There must be some really crappy armor. Let's go back and tell us furriness. I kind of want to go into the pie ruins. Can I... I can't fly in here. I oh, know. I know these guys are really high level. No. And I can't just walk over to the chest either. Yeah. Nothing I can do here. Well, that is... Why would King Lionor supply his army with such cheap... Armor. Also, why would they do this if it's voluntary? Wouldn't they, shouldn't they just quit, or... I don't know. Go kill some monsters, which drop gold? I mean, no, actually, no. They probably shouldn't do that. If anything, take off the crappy armor first. And use your bare fists. Young Dragon Balls, the soldiers told me of the traitors. What a bummer. You not worry about them anymore, your furriness. Cool Pauls, you saved my life yet again, Young Dragon Blood. You're awesome. Please accept this. Royal Crown. So is that that? Yeah, that's that. <laughs> the missing soldiers and the rescue. Yes, the, the soldiers were traitors. That was really easy. Let's go for the dragon worshippers. There's someone baiting weavers, wyverns here with catnip. We need to find the vandal. Why in whiskers would anyone do that? Because they're evil. In Dragon Ball, we have to find this catnip vandal. These catnips attract wyverns. Wyverns are so not cool. We'll check around for the catnip and see if any of them give us clues your furriness. We're all some sauce. Break your ball. Why does he talk like that? Nobody talks like that. Alright, let's look for some catnip from here. I mean, I'm flying. I pretty much should be able to see everything. Over there. You crushed the ha e half-eaten catnip. Looks like wyvern got to it. We better watch out for them, too. So both cats and these dragon-like creatures seem to like catnip. They must be mortal enemies. Ah, I got hit, but luckily my armor blocked. All but 15 of the damage. Really, this armor is useless. I'm, I'm not going to use it, alright? I know I said I was going to use it, but no. Let's go for Jack of All Trades. I mean, technically, this is more Jack of All Trades. Actually, Gentle Bros. Outfit. He finds something that gives us good everything. Actually, this covers... The Rogue Crown covers our weaknesses if we take the Squire's Axe. Yeah. There we go. The perfect suit of armor. A Royal Crown, a Tuxedo, and an Axe. This covers all our weaknesses. Although we are quite weak. You know what? I just don't really want to do... Because the, uh, the armor does not take too many hits. It's like one hit and then it's done. It's, it's kind of garbage, so... I think... I want... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not going to use it. I'm going to use this as well. And I could use this. But this is all also good. 104, 104... And 667. One off the evil number. 
The trail of wyverns and catnips bringing us here, somewhere. It should lead to the vandal. Is that what that said? I don't think so. That, that was not a proper sentence. That was like half a sentence. I feel like I both missed it, parts of it, and did not read it correctly. Also, I've played Skylanders. Giants, before. But I don't think I ever finished it. It was years ago. Skylanders was a good game. Skylanders Superchargers was very weak, though. My favorite was Trap Team, which is also like the most difficult. I think I saw something suspicious nearby. Mila, you must be here for the in in initiation. Initiation? What the furry gods? Take this. You might refresh your memories. Join the dragon worshippers in initiation. For the love of dragons, open to all. Come along now. <sighs> One furry whiskers, are you crazy kids doing? Yeah, those are dragon wyverns, right? It's fine, you. They know we love them. We gave them all the catnip. For <sighs> God's sake, are you dumb? Wait, don't answer that. Don't furry worry. I have a magic barrier around them, you okay? It only do da go down if I lose concentration. You lost concentration, you moron. Meow. 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 Achoo. Ah, meow. Run away. I thought they wouldn't hurt us, meow. Meow, just run, you fool. This ain't worth it. Fur balls always left the cleanup duty. I know. These people suck. Why are we saving them? If anything, we should just let them die. I have to teach them not to mess with the Ryverns. Let's head back. Is this the end of the Dragon Worshippers? I doubt it. I love that we can literally just fly. It's just... It's hilarious, because he's... It, it, he's flapping his wings like a bird. He doesn't have wings, though. He's using his arms. This is just the funniest thing I've ever seen. The animals won't bother you anymore, your furriness. I doubt that. Perfect job on Dragon Blood. I owe you big time. We all suck. So reward might help, eh? Right on. Please accept this. Wear your robes. All right, we're gonna replace King Lionor here. Let me just get all the royal stuff. Let me just uh, got my crown, my royal robes, and my royal sword. I don't use my hands anymore, but using this, my hands just don't exist. Which makes sense, we're in a row. I'm the new king. Be gone, foul beast. What's up? Alright, let's go back to our original uh, stuff, which was the squire stuff. I think this is it? No. What? 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 No, this isn't it either. And that's not it. Which hat was I using again? I don't remember. No, that's not it. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what I was using. Right? Jeez, now I don't remember. Wait, well, we better get along with the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow, follow, follow us. No, follow me on Rumble. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna do that level four, level 60 quest. Let's let's fly around, find an easier quest. What do you have to say, if anything? I need to fly now, huh? The wind me okay, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm literally flying in front of your face. So now I can fly everywhere. We never did go into Catnip Cove. Now, we do need to look for another quest, because we need to level up, and the easiest way to level up is quest. We could do Kit Kat's quest, but I don't really want to do that. That's right, this move was very difficult. That was ten quests running across the map. Each one had to be running across the map like thrice. What do you do? You say anything now that I've beaten the monster? Go to the quest board. You want to talk to me? Yeah, I've already done that though. 
Alright, now... Because we have all these spells. Where's the last spell? That's my, that's my question. My only question. Normally, for some reason, I say my main question. But no, it's my only question. I mean, how many quests are even left? Not that many, right? So far, no quests of final rest. I bet there'll probably be a quest there eventually. If I'm correct, there's a quest this away. The Forgotten Hero. Which we'll just wait for all these ghosts to fly away and then we'll. That's level 70. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Alright, now what did this say again? I could probably do this. This will be easy. Sail so south to the funny head that looks like a cat. That looks like no cat. So that is. That is near Twin Towns, right? And head west to the town born of twins. So now go northwest to the biggest lake in the land. Now stay true to northwest to the gulf between grass and ice. Finally, travel far west till the treasure is still hidden underwater. Now, this is we're going south till we find the head, uh, the cat that looks like no head or something. The head that looks like no cat. And then we go north to the trombone of twins. Yeah, yeah, the, this this is the uh, this is unknown. It's a face that looks like no cat. It's a human face. Then we, now we go north east to the town born of twins, which is the twin towns, which is right here is east. Then we head north to the biggest lake. Okay, so yeah, now, now we're at Twin Towns. Now, what's next? Let me go back to the Pirate Guild. It's so easy to fly around like this. It makes travel just so much easier. It's just so much better. I just love flying. Alright, description of the stone. Town Bar Twins. Go northwest to the center of the biggest lake. Now stay true northwest. Until you get to the area right between the ice and the grass, then far west. Alright, I think I understand now. So we go northwest, then we stay true to northwest. Continue going until we hit grass and ice, and then the gulf of grass and ice, then shovel far west. And we'll hit the treasure. So yeah, now we head northwest from the town born of twins. I mean, technically there's only supposed to be one town there, but there's two. To the center of the biggest lake. Which would be Feelingard Lake. From the center of that, stay northwest true until you hit the gulf of ice and grass. Then head far west. And somewhere out here is our treasure. Let's just walk, in case it's like something we have to interact with on the ground. He did say far west, though, so... I don't get it, I followed his instructions, but yet it's not here. What could I have missed? Where did I go wrong? It should be somewhere around here. Because now we've hit the wall. I'm not sure. I might just look it up where it is. Because it says go... Yeah, what? Maybe I didn't go to the right spot. So let's try this again. To the gulf of... Yeah. So then we head northwest... Which is this way, which should take us to right here. This is the gulf. Does it say like gulf around here anywhere specifically? Just say this is the gulf. Then we travel far west. And there's a treasure buried beneath the sea. It's right here. Found it. We found a, a level 47, gentle bros. That definitely helps a lot. Now we have plus 47 to all that. That was interesting. Now, I thought this would be the gulf, because it says, like, where ice and grass meet. 
But I thought about it, this looks more like the Gulf, then I traveled far west and that was it. Plus that was more north northwest. Alright, now is there a quest near Windmule City? Mid Windmule? Probably. It's it's somewhere around here. Wait, is that a spell I don't have? Or is that a spell I do have? I could also go exploring in the caves, but I prefer not to do that. No, nah, it's just a cult. And the dragon fight, yeah, we did that. What about over here though? Nothing still. I mean, I guess I could go try to fight the dragon here, but I doubt I'll succeed. I could upgrade my spells, I think I might do that. Depends on whether I win or lose. Now I want to take out his minions first. Yeah, 106 damage a hit is quite nice. Tendam, I do not want to uh, disturb the dragon himself. I only want his minions to come in and fight me. Second get into attack, he'll miss. We fire at him. Then we do this, and then that, and then we dodge quickly. And then we fire again just to do a bit of extra damage, ring around the rosies. Gonna make sure he stays in one spot. And then attack. Ah, uh, no spell here. I think I'm close to. Sp I missed that spell. Ah, I almost got hit there. Keywords almost, but I was able to basically heal it off. I'm doing good here actually now. I think I've gotten a bit better. I mean, I guess the shield did help there a little bit, because now I have 13 shield. It barely helps. I'm just doing the Jack of All Trades. It's what I love doing. A little bit of everything. A Jack of All Trades Master of None is often better than a Master of One. That's all of them. Time to get your sister back. We got Dark Horn. 14 damage and 14 magic. If you want your sister back, come find me where it all began. Dracus so lazy, he's just talking to us straight through our minds now. Oh come on, let's go. Where it all began. Uh, reminds me of the ending of Dredge, ending it where it all began. Both the episode, near the same time, and the game, all ends where it began. And the minnows. Lonely Caves level 200, yeah, and then there's a bunch of mimics there. I do like how in some of these caves there are like secret paths through the water though, that is quite nice. I am glad they don't overuse it though, to the point where it becomes annoying and you're not sure. Where is the secret path and where is not? Hmm, this feels like a trap. You're right, friend. Then my boat's still here. This is where it all began for you, huh? You're lucky I was passing by when I did. <laughs> you sent a strange island far down south from here. Well, let's go there first. <laughs> Gentle Town. Founder's Island, a level 1 cave. Founder's Cave. You know what? I'll probably have to come back here eventually. Although being a level 1 cave, I bet these mimics are all level 100 insta-kills. Let's find some more power piece of loot in here, please. That's not overpowered. I asked for overpowered. You failed me for the last time. You failed me the last time. I mean, these guys drop a lot of money, and I do love money. Dodge! I bet he'll insta kill me if he hits me. We could take this out slow. I bet there's like a secret chest somewhere in the water around here. Okay, this can't be it. Alright, this is far too difficult of a fight. For that to be it. But I swear, if, if, th if this game ends right here and I just happen to find it beforehand, because some hilarious me like, yeah, you're right, you're, 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 yeah, this is suspicious, I'm just gonna go walk over here. 
and then just end up finding this, because th this is actually really good. I love this game so far. The story tells are actually pretty good. Each quest is like its own story. What do we get here? Ranger's Vest leveled up. Well, then based on the loot here, I guess a ranger came down here and died. Anything here had something to do with a ranger. I told you. Walking on water. Unfortunately, it looks like you need a key to unlock this chest. Maybe I'll get the key after I win the game. Who knows? I mean, I most certainly don't. But I'll have to keep that in mind. That's where that is. I told you guys. So I got the best loot in the game. Oh, I get it. It's called Gentle Town. Everybody's wearing the Gentle Bro. You've done well to find this island player. Wait, can it be? Are you kittens the Gentle Bros? Indeed, we are the gods. I mean, <laughs> the developers of this game. We have a message for you, player. Follow the road and you'll find a cove. Go in for a real good time. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a quest here. Let's do it. The Golden Key. Is this how we unlock the Golden Key? I don't feel like we should do this yet. Alright, uh, let's head back up here. Ah, I have a bad feeling about this. I mean, yeah, come on, what do you expect, kid? Alright, we killed them just as easy as the first time, except now there's two of them. Alright, he's dead again. Good, good, mwahahaha. Remember how weak you were? Now you're more so powerful. Well, thanks to you. Now the time is finally at hand. Your sister waits here at the Frozen Paul. Won't hurt to get a little stronger for the final battle, right? Come on, I know just the place. Hey, if you say so. I guess maybe if I Cthulhu or something? Hope not. Oh, uh, it's Key Island at Dragon's Rest. This is the Dragon's Tomb. For starters, let's clear it out. Alright. This is where we get our final magics. I like saying magics instead of magic. I'm not sure why. Ah, no wait, I forgot I can't attack when I'm on those. It's so annoying. Burn them. I ah, just literally stepped to his attack. I'm I'm bad at this game. Yeah, but this is a really good game. I've never played a game like this before though. Never. Not even once. I wonder if there's any secret chests in here. There's gotta be, like, somewhere to walk out into the water and get another golden chest. My money's on that there's a golden chest in every single one of these levels. That's right, you guys are weak against magic, not melee. Hey, Grandpa, come on out, will ya? Ho ho ho, you passed the test, I'm outside. What's this? Is it new magic? I was really hoping to be a new magic or something. I mean, we get White Mage Staff leveled up. I mean, I, I never use it because it takes away my health for some reason. Guess Healy Magic lowers your maximum life expectancy. Spur, your friend is a powerful one, a dragon blood, eh? Yes, Grandpa, but now we need, to, we need to know how to get even stronger. Hmm, yeah, hmm, yes, yes. You'll first need to learn about the Old Masters, then follow me. Old Masters Island. Oh, we're going past Old Masters Island. Where are we going? To the unknown. This, my kitty cats, is an Old Master. You're kidding me. I didn't know they looked like that. The Dragon Bloods and Old Masters used to live hand in hand. There's a ruin close by. You can whenever you're ready. All right, now we're level 50. We just we gained more power. We became more powerful by knowing that dragon bloods look like that. Not dragon bloods. Ah, uh, old masters. 
The answer you seek will surface once all the monsters inside are cleared. <laughs> Man, this game just tries to figure out, you know what? Let's come up with some random excuse of why you have to kill all these monsters. I mean, hey, at least now the players won't ask questions of why I have to kill every single monster in this dungeon to do something. It's because this guy said so, and that's just how it works. You can't do something unless you do it with this says, because that's how video games work. What's in here? Ranger Axe leveled up to level 44. I swear, some of these levels are crazy, and some of them are not so crazy. Now, these, this guy is not weak to anything. Which is quite annoying. Although, he is weak to weakening. If I weaken, weaken him, then he becomes weak to magic damage only. Not melee damage, but specifically magic damage. If I weaken him, he becomes weak to magic. Which is really, really, really annoying. There's so much XP just lying around on the floor here. Are you powerful? No, you're not. The music in this game is actually pretty good too, as well. Not exactly the best I've ever heard, it gets a tiny bit repetitive. But that music I was playing during the last boss fight was really good. The last boss fight was when we were fighting uh, Tarkuth again. Even though I doubt that's like anywhere close to high level. Because he was literally, no, not, not even literally. He was literally just as powerful as the first time we faced him when we fought his illusions or clones or whatever. I wonder what's in this. Is it gonna be another ranger vest or something? Whatever it's called to then do with the ranger. No, it's white magic hood. I wonder, are these randomized? I doubt it, because when we went out to sea, there's no way that just a different time we're gonna get a different gentle bro item. Nothing happened, let's go back outside. Of course nothing happened. That's how this game works. Hey, I'm getting a weird feeling again. Meowza. Dragon Blood detected. Plane entry 3345. The Dragon War has ended, but the problem of Elias remains. Indeed, the Dragon Blood have grown too powerful, and Elias he. He seems unwilling to steal away his creations. Elias the traitor, I know of what he seeks. He plans to uh, usurp the throne of his Dragon Blood. Then we are all in agreement on this. Let the Zero Dimension be open then. It was Elias. He was an old master, I'm sure of it. So he created the Dragon Blood? Sounds like it, my friend. Ho oh, ho ho! It may seem confusing, but we all, it will all be revealed soon. On to the next one! Come on, old man. Do I have to really do a ton of these? The games force me to go through caves. Games are honestly my le least favorite part of the game. The dialogue is probably the best part. Specifically the quest ones. The Random Cat's dialogue is not the greatest. But I don't expect it to be because it's not a story. You know the drill. Yep. Old Master's Ruin, Defeat the Monsters. Also, these ones are just really annoying. They're not like difficult to fight, they're just annoying. Because you can only damage them using magic. And then you end up using all your magic. These ones are also kind of annoying because they fly around, decide not to move, and just stand on their traps. Also, I wonder how much damage you can do in this game. It's probably like infinite, right? And I wonder if the monsters scale along with you, or if I'll still be able to one-shot the monsters in the first area. Honestly, let me just go into here real quick. I do not feel like this trap is just very good. I'd rather have... Frostfall. And honestly, healing magic, not too good. So I'd rather have electricity. Let's see, uh, yeah, we're not using these two. Yeah, that makes sense. Because according to the slots, there's one more magics left. Where is it? I don't know. 
Man, these enemies are hard, and if I die, I have to restart from the very beginning of this quest. This could, theoretically, take me forever. Not forever, just a really long time. Oh, great, I got all three of these guys following me. Let's strike them with lightning. Wish these guys had, like, a weakness or something, but they don't. They're not even, like, weak to magic, I'm pretty sure. No, they are. They're specifically only weak to magic. I'm about to die. Leveled up at the right time. Actually, if you're speedrunning this game, you could, like, make sure you do exactly enough to level up at certain times. That way you get a level up in a fight and just heal the full against, like, a boss. And then continue just hitting him. Wonder what would even be good for a speedrun? Lots of damage, but in what? Magic or melee? Magic's definitely more powerful than just hitting people, but hitting people's also a lot easier than performing magic. I'm not sure. Maybe tankiness is the way to go. Just stand there and have a bajillion health. Maybe there's some sort of exploit. Alright, I want to see what's in this chest here. I bet it's nothing. Yet again. No, it's Furry Tank Mace. Level 30. Select quest in the Gentle Bros Island appears to be how we get the key. I thought maybe you'd get it by winning the game, but no. Apparently it's... It's not how you get it. Honestly, the fire magic still does the most damage. Out of all the magics. Have you healed? That's not good. I don't want to get hit. But it's, it's really hard not to get hit, because he attacks real fast. Actually, here, ice magic will help me. Takes him a while to react to any of my attacks. There we go, defeated him. Look outside quickly. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, over here, there's an exit. Get ready for another recording. Dragon Blood detected. Playing entry 4729. Is that Jakus? Master Elias has been betrayed. They sealed Master Elias in the Zero Dimension. How do we rescue him? Power. We'll need more power. Perhaps you are powerful enough. So Darkus is a Dragon Blood too, huh? Yeah, that was kind of obvious. You can do magic, and normally you can only do magic if you're a Dragon Blood or a mage, and he don't look like a mage to me. That's the last recording. Grandpa gives you a bunch of glowing fragments. Dragon shots. That's what we came here for. Take them to Kit Kat for a special weapon. Good luck, you two. Alright, I'm gonna take the Kit Kat. For the first time forever, maybe she'll create a weapon instead of having this gamble. I know. How unfortunate. We don't have to gamble anymore. Hey, you fellas, I can help you kittens today. We need a weapon to save my partner's sister. You give Kit the Dragon Shards. Dragon Shards? Where you fellas get them? Oh, I create. Ooh, I could create. I could do great things with this. For some reason, I wrote that as create, do great things. And I was like, what? That doesn't make sense. You kittens come back later, right? Alright, let's just stand here then. We're really gonna rescue your sister now, huh? Because of the part ways too by then. I'm really gonna miss all the times you had together. But don't worry, I'll always be there watching over you. Because that's what guardian spirits are for. If someone's gonna be watching over us, then what's the point of leaving? Hey, kittens, it's done. Alright, give us a weapon. Feast your paws on this. Dragon's Bane. Minus 30 health, plus 10 damage, plus 10 magic. It still has a lot of potential to get stronger, though. That's what you fellas are for our first to quest. They have the details. Well, I want to make it more powerful, because that's garbage. This is better. Alright, this is it, partner. Frozen Paw. Nine. The ultimate Dragon's Bane. You can find me if you want more power. I love power. Hey fellas, looking to power up the Dragon Blade of yours? Here are the sorcerer's power before. They're placing the world where natural magic comes from. 
Bring the Dragon Blade to these places or power out them up in no time. I only know of one place and it's close to the deep forest. Good luck, fellas. Let's just use this for the time being. Be careful in there. It's hard to see anything inside the forest. Doesn't matter, I can fly. Or something happened to the Dragon's Bane. The Dragon's Bane, Bane glows and dims out. Huh? Nothing really happened. Let's get out of here first. Alright. Well, a trail disappeared. I bet that leads to the next source of power. Power. Dragon's Bane grow, not grows, glows and dims out again. This doesn't make sense. I'm feeling magical energy though. It's like we're close. Film guard's leg is nearby. Want to check that out? Sure, and that's just gonna magically have our solutions, huh? This feels like the place. Pulls up, something's coming. Fight me. Has this gotten any better? No, it's, it, it's it, actually, if anything, I think it's worse now. Guys, we'll still use Dragon's Bane just because. You know, I think I ought to try playing this game for like the last video where I just do all the quests by only using the crappy armor. That'd be great. But everybody would love that. Because I'm going to beat the game, I think, before I do all the quests. Alright, now one guy left. We gotta take him down. The Dragon's Bane glows with all its might. Level 99, we now have basically no health. But 155 damage, 155 magic. We did a partner. Akuth isn't gonna know what hit him. <laughs> yeah, um, we're gonna need all the health we can get now. So, yeah, we only have. That's it, actually. That's actually not that little health. Well, yeah, let's just put on. Yeah, that actually gets a lot of uh, health. We'll keep that on. But our helmet should give us more health. No, we don't have any that really give us more health. It's not really worth it at that point. Wait, okay. White Mage's Hood decreases damage, increases health and magic. Decreases damage, increases health and magic. But the White Mage Staff decreases... Okay, so I read that wrong. Just decreases damage. Apparently, I'm just crazy or something. Alright, let's sleep here. And actually, there is now a quest and final rest. But I want to try to beat this in today's video. Then we can go back and do that eventually. Let's go over the Frozen Fall. Let's end this. So he wants us to free Elias from Dimension Zero. She's all yours. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. Again, it's just an illusion. Something's coming. It's all three dragons again. Well, don't worry. We have the dragon's bane. We'll kill our enemies. And the red one's actually the weakest. Still. Actually, all these guys are really weak. It's probably because we have a level, like, 99 Dragon's Bane. If I put on the Governor's shirt, I'd do so much damage, but, uh, I'd also lose out literally all my health. And magics. And I like doing 420 magic and then doing, like, 1,000 damage a hit. That's quite nice. Meows, we did it. Where'd your sister go? I still feel like this is a trip. Dragon's Void. Like your sister went inside. Ready, partner? This is the point of no return. Oh, it is. So I'm guessing if we go in there, we're not going to be able to come back and do any of the quests. Guess we'll complete all the quests first. Let's do as much as I can in today's video. The Forbidden History. It's level 99. Screw it. Let's do it. Very scary. Roars near Forbidden Fields. Help us. Forbidden Fields, eh? Seems like a job for us. Oh. I need to talk to you first. What's the problem, peasant? We can hear the scary roars at certain points in the day. Meow's like the time, you should hear it very mirroring soon. Meow, we'll check it out. Dragon blood. What in the world? So you guys are gonna be very pow powerful. Not really though, actually. He's actually kind of weak. Fallen dragon blood and dragon spirits lie here, unable to escape. This is where the dragon war happens. The voice of the spirit of the past? 
Let's just stand in the uh, circle. Looks like we have to break another spell. Alright, well, apparently this guy just does not see me anymore. Look at all the damage we're able to do. It's just not fair. This is level 99 quest, so this wyvern should be level 99. But man, these, um... These other guys are really annoying. I'm feeling that's the main part. There's too many spirits are trapped here. Nothing can grow properly. I guess that's why there's these, these guys here. But they're really annoying, and I wish they'd stop chasing me and just let me fight these guys. I always feel like that last sliver of help of these enemies have is just too much. The dragon suddenly appeared everywhere. Appeared here one day. Everyone was afraid. Now we've made a triangle, and now it's gonna all link together. Let's stand in the middle, just to be sure. I think Vic's coming. Coming. Not coming. If only I could speak English. I just don't know how to do it. Just not too good at it. Alright, let's go fight a giant dragon. I'm taking so much damage here because of these traps. Because as soon as one trap cooldown comes off, another one comes right back on. Just die, please. No, we're dead instead. 250 damage. That's like all our health. Alright, you know what? That's it. I'll finish this game's quest later. Let's go to the point of no return. Do we have to restart the quest again? Or is it just... Yeah, you have to restart the quest again. Alright, how do I quit this quest? That's fine. Those dragons were easy to deal with. It's probably like here or something. Yeah, abandon quest. You sure? Yeah. Maybe we don't though. Maybe it'll just go. Yeah, I think it's yeah. It's just dragon void. Let's just win this game. I'll come back later to 100% it. What? Where are we now? It's just pure darkness. Welcome to the zero dimension. Wahaha! -ha -ha. Tell me, little one. Would you recognize your sister no matter what? They all look the same, uh, this one. Wrong! Try again, mwahahahaha. Wrong again! Don't you recognize your dear sister? No, they all look the same. <laughs> You'd say wrong each time, wouldn't you? Takuth. Amazing, you still don't recognize it, do you? You have no sister, mwahahahaha. What? Plot twist. This was all an illusion. My illusion. I need you to be stronger, so I gave you motivation for that. Dracuth, that's enough, he gets it. Come on now, Spurry, easy enough to the trades. Your job is done, you're free to go. I'm sorry, partner, but Dracuth is my master. I was here to make sure you were always getting more powerful. I don't fully agree with what he's doing now, though. Mwah, mwah, ah, ah, look, he's speechless. And finally, the time's at hand. Elias will soon be freed. That was a plot twist I did not expect to see coming. Although for a second I was like, wait, does he just like not have a sister or something? Jakuth, please, it doesn't have to end this way. Only the blood spilled by a powerful beam can open the zero dimension. And what's more powerful than the mighty dragon blood? So either way, then dimension zero will get opened then. But it's just your blood being spilled. Mwahaha, <laughs> not bad. Now let's fight for real. Yeah, I was expecting that couldn't be it. You do all magic types, except for that last one we haven't unlocked yet. Unless it's just an empty slot and just doesn't exist, and I just don't get it for, for some reason. Don't get the achievement. Mwah, how are you so powerful? Dracuth, stop it. No, Elias made a promise to always be there for us. I intend to make him keep that promise. Oh my goodness, you're huge! That dodge. I mean, yeah, but now you're very slow, because you're so big. Fire. Just freeze him. Honestly, freezing magic? Overpowered. It's making this boss really easy. Although a tad bit slow. Ugh. Meow. Oh, how can this be? Oh. Ugh. Take this. Nah, it took me centuries to find another dragon but like me. Let me, let me just collect his XP and gold first. I'm very greedy, you know. The gold's worth more than anything. 
Your entire quest to find your sister it was my design. Dracuth, I'm begging you to stop. No, Spurry, I'm a powerful dragon blood too. However, as falls, the zero dimension will open regardless, and Elias will be free. Ah! Bah. I think he's dead now. <laughs> Elias, my friend, you will soon be free. Dracuth, no! He's dead. The zero dimension's opening! Run! Oh, this way? I thought we were gonna run the other way. Normally, we run away from someone this way, not that way. Oh, but this is just an open portal. No, a barrier? Elias? How nice of Elias to open up the barrier for us. I can't believe we made it. If ever was sealed in zero dimension, it's free now. Poor Dracuth. I don't expect you to forgive me, but... Will you? That, that That's the kindest thing any cat's ever said to me. Alright, partner, it's just you and me now. Let's go on the next cat quest. I mean, I said that was a point of no return, but everything appears to be normal and I'm, like, still alive. How could this be, Dracuth? You're not Dracuth, are you? You're Elias. If you're not a mere clone, Dracuth left behind. If she not survived, Dracuth wished you both knew the truth. Goodbye and thank you. Epilogue, main quest. Epilogues. Reminds me of, um... Don't starve with Blanc Checkmate. This is Dracu Slayer. I've been here once. Look, there's a bed here. Can I sleep here? Oh man, I was really hoping. I could just steal all his stuff. These are all books in the Zero Dimension, meow. And some of Dracu's notes. I should never be forgiven for what I'm about to do. But I will do anything to free Anais, even become a villain. Elias, not Anais. That was what Dracu learned about you. I owed him a life debt to force me to work with him. I'm truly really sorry, partner. This must be where Dracuth catnapped. Huh? There's a picture on his bedside. I'll always be with you, Elias. Once a cat forges a friendship, it's never forgotten, huh? Hope he can rest in peace now. But the Zero Dimension was a prison for the vilest of creatures. I can only hope nothing evil caught out. I mean, I seriously doubt it. Goodbye, Dracuth. Dracuth may be gone, but there's still cats who need help. Let's go on our next cat venture. Quest completed. We completed the quest, epilogue. New game unlocked. Feline Guard Lore Master, complete the main quest. You can now select a new game from the title screen. Well, I guess in the next episode we'll be completing the rest of the quests. And by next episode, we'll be completing the rest of the quests, I mean eventually. As actually, we're going to be playing Cat Quest 2, as not much time the Cat Quest 3 releases. So make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Rumble. I did not expect that uh, plot twist there at the ending. I didn't really expect any of that. But that was also incredibly interesting. Like, just not incredibly interesting, extremely. I did not expect that to happen at all. All the quests, plot twists at the end are plots that actually made sense and didn't have a twist at the end. Made sense, but this, I would have never guessed. Maybe if I had read all these monuments, or went into a few ruins, would have known. But yeah, until next time, goodbye and thanks for watching. Actually, there's one thing I want to do. Where's Cthulhu? Oh, actually, there's a quest here now, the Poison Potato Farm. I mean, potatoes. There's nothing poisonous about potatoes. I swear. Blinkity 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 winkity blink. I'm totally not lying. No such thing as a poisonous potato. Where is Cthulhu again? I don't remember. Yeah, I really don't. I mean, he's somewhere. We wanted to fight him, but uh, I don't remember where he was. I know one of the guards told me about where he is. But yeah, until next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. I hit a wall.